Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16.2. Now the update just got pushed to its RC version, which is the final version before it gets released to the public. But of course, as always, we used to have the RC version being released without any new features, basically with just some things polished, of course, fixes, bugs and things like that. But Apple did surprise us yet again and they released the RC version and it has like 10 amazing new features, which a lot of them are quite big actually so in this video we're going to take a look at this update and see all the new amazing features that apple has just released with the rc version of ios 16.2 now before we get started, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. It really helps out a lot and we're very close to reach 350,000 subscribers. So that would really help. Now we're starting with the first one. When you head onto your settings and you have your AirPods connected, when you go to the AirPods section at the top of the settings app, you will now find call controls. Now this basically allows you to choose how you want to control your call basically and the call with your airpods now if you go here you will have two options so you press once or double press press twice to end the call using your airpods now when you go to your settings you go to apple id and go to icloud now you will find something new here it is called advanced data protection now if you go here you will have the chance to enable it now what this will do is that it will encrypt your data things like backups messages backups the iCloud drive notes you have photos safari bookmarks voice memos and all that stuff all these will be end-to-end -end encrypted now you can see right here it gives you like a little explanation and also you will have the chance here to add the recovery account because of course Apple won't be responsible for you just recovering these data because they won't have your key so you should have a key of course if you want to just inc decrypt basically the data that you have protected now if you go to account recovery this will take you here now from here you can actually add a recovery contact that way you can use that contact to actually recover your data or you can set up a recovery key right here so just by enabling it you can have a recovery key which then you will use to actually recover these data that you have encrypted through this new feature so an amazing new feature and you can see all the explanation here before turning it on you can see what it does and of course how it works now when you want to turn on this feature it will also give you the screen right here to update your devices you can see right here it says before you can turn on advanced data protection you need to update these devices or go to your settings and remove those so the devices have to be updated so things like of course Macs maybe home pods or things like that if you have them you have to update them or remove them from your device from basically from your Apple ID before turning on advanced data protection now this right here is quite a big change I didn't expect this to happen at least this year airdrop has been limited to 10 minutes for everyone so this is a feature that apple has actually released a few weeks ago in china we didn't expect this to happen at least for this year now there was of course rumors that this will come worldwide with maybe with ios 16.3 or 16.4 but it's actually now here now you can see when you go to turn on your airdrop you will have now out the option to turn it on for your contacts only or for everyone for 10 minutes so this means that if you turn it on for everyone for 10 minutes after 10 minutes it won't turn off it will just move to contacts only so you no longer will be able to just leave your airdrop on for everyone after 10 minutes it just goes back to contacts now this is quite a big change maybe a lot of people will be upset about this change but it's actually quite interesting because we haven't seen in years any changes in airdrop and it's finally here maybe a bad change for a lot of people you will be limited to 10 minutes only and the new karaoke mode is now enabled with ios 16.2 this is what it looks like on apple music i don't actually use apple music but if you do now you will have the chance to use the karaoke mode you will have 
right there the slider to actually turn on or uh, turn up or down the volume and basically you will have everything here that you get on a normal karaoke but it's actually not available for every song there are only certain songs that support this but if you want to use it it will probably be quite fun so now we have it with ios 16.2 of course as long as you have apple music on your device there are a few other changes on the music app as well for example right here the lyrics when they move from one row to another you can see there is a different animation with ios 16.2 the lyrics will also now be separated on two different sides when you have two different artists on a song. You can see we have some lyrics here on the left side and we have the other ones from the other artist that's on that song on the right side. And the ability to actually report a concern on the Apple Music's lyrics now has a lot more options. So you can see right here, what's your concern with this content? You will have now more options which you can report if you actually have a concern with lyrics on your device. Now there is another change with the messages app that Apple has mentioned on their release notes for iOS 16.2 RC, but it actually might not be working currently. I've tried it, it didn't actually work as it says, but basically they say that they have improved the search on the message on the iMessage app so you can search for things like maybe cars or dogs or whatever you want to search and it will actually find those things within the photos you have on your messages but you will have to wait for that maybe it will get better in the future but as of currently is not actually working as it should and now let's take a look at the final results from Geekbench regarding the performance on iOS 16.2 so here we have the latest results right here we have the single core score at 1874 this in comparison to iOS 16.1 1886 while when we take a look at the multi-core score, we have 5,490 there, while we had 5,346 with iOS 16.1, so a really nice improvement there on the multi-core score. Otherwise, the basically, the update is quite good. It works as it should. No, like, major hangs or bugs or glitches or anything like that. It actually is a great, great update, and of course, it has a ton of cool new features. So when can you expect this update to come to your device as now we are on the RC version and this is the final release before this basically gets released to the public. You can expect this update to come at your device probably on Monday or Tuesday. That will be December 12th or December 13th. This is when iOS 16.2 should be released to the public, of course, as always around 10 a.m. Pacific time. Again, this is a great update and I suggest you update as soon as this gets released. Now, if you have the beta installed on your device and you have actually updated to the RC version, then don't expect an update because it's the same update as this one. So if you have the RC, you already have the version which will be released to the public. So it doesn't matter if you delete the profile or not, you won't be getting an update. Otherwise, if you're on beta 4, you don't want to install the RC version, but you want to just move to the public, public release, you can just go ahead and delete the profile right now and you will be able to actually update. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more if you did. I will have a ton of videos on iOS 16.2 coming out next week. So make sure to subscribe for that. Leave a like on this one. I'll see you on the next video.